why do we watch Gundam? Well, if you want people to perceive you as mature and sophisticated and stuff, you'll probably answer that question by highlighting how the best Gundam shows have good writing, interesting, realistically depicted characters, thought-provoking themes, and sometimes very impressive animation and music. Certainly, that's the kind of stuff that really matters at the end of the day, and anyone who genuinely appreciates quality storytelling should recognize that. But I think we all have our own inner man-child who watches Gundam for different reasons, like... Guns, swords, lasers, knives, missiles, explosions, transforming, smashing, grappling, stabbing, slicing, blasting, shredding, violence, yeah! Kick-ass giant robots fighting kick-ass battles using all kinds of kick-ass weapons. Yes, there's nothing quite like watching an awesome mech show off a cool weapon. And naturally, we viewers have been treated to a wide variety of them throughout Gundam's long history. And I felt like listing some of my favorites. Now, this isn't going to include primarily defensive equipment like eye fields or special armor or the like. Nor does it include big, docking, mobile armor support arsenals like the Dendrobium, Meteor Units, GN Arms, etc. And lastly, I'm not including any elaborate special abilities whose applications or intended purposes go beyond those of a weapon of war, which is primarily just a tool meant for inflicting damage. So no Psycho Frame, no GN Particle Burst, no Age System, no Mirage Colloid, no DG Cells, you get the picture. And now, my top 15 favorite mobile suit weapons. Number 15. The Moonlight Butterfly, used by the Turn A Gundam and Turn X. I know, I know, probably the most destructive weapon in all of Gundam, and I put it on the bottom of the list. Obviously, this list isn't ordered in terms of most powerful or practical weapons, just my favorites in whatever order I want. The Moonlight Butterfly is actually pretty simple for how great its capacity for destruction is. It's a big, colorful spread of nanomachines that can reduce all technology across the planet to dust. Kind of interesting to see such a devastating attack visualized by something so pretty and coming from a source as unimposing as the Turn A Gundam. Nevertheless, this weapon is truly devastating. Number 14. The Divider, used by Gundam X Divider. As much as I love the satellite cannons used by the original Gundam X and Double X, I'm a sucker for the more stylish and gimmicky divider. It functions as a shield, a flight-enabling backpack, and can open up and fire a long row of beams. It's excellent for extra defense, mobility, and offense, and it's just all-around cool. Number 13. The Gerbera Strait, used by Gundam Astray Redframe. A solid katana that pilot-slash-mechanic Lo Gule prefers to use over energy-consuming beam sabers. But it's hardly a downgrade, as it's extremely sharp, sharp enough to cleave solid rock with ease, and from what I understand has a beam-resistant coating so sword fights with beam-blade-wielding foes are not out of the question. Not much else to say, except it's a simple but awesome weapon that lends its wielder a lot of extra style. Number 12. The Gatling Shield, used by Goof Custom and Goof Flight Type. In real life, of course, machine guns, Gatling guns, and the like are nothing to sneeze at, but in Gundam, they're so commonplace and low-tech compared to beam weaponry that it takes a little more to make them impressive. What this one has going for it is just how freaking badass it looks. How much more badass it makes an already badass mobile suit look. It's huge and imposing, and it's also pretty neat how it's not just a big Gatling gun, but a big Gatling gun hooked into a shield, which also holsters the sword, and under the shield is a smaller machine gun for the Goof to use after it purges the empty Gatling gun. Goof Gatling Shield. It's mostly just an awesome-looking weapon, but that's awesome enough for me. Number 11. The Snake Sword, used by G. Zephos. I kind of want to cheat a little and say this weapon shares its spot on the list with the far more popular heat rods used by Gundam Epion and Tulgis 3, since they are so much alike. Glowing, segmented, sharp whips that once again immediately make the wielding mobile suit look extra hardcore. I guess I wanted to spotlight the GZ Foses version of this weapon because, one, it's a pirate MS, 
and two, I really like how it can straighten out and lock, going from a whip to a solid sword if need be. Whichever wielding MS you prefer, these heating up whip type weapons will always kick ass. Number 10. The Armed Armor VN, used by Unicorn Gundam Banshee. When it's closed up, it can function as sort of an armored boxing glove for smashing. That's fun and all, but when it opens up, you've got four big menacing claws. They have psycho frames built in, and some kind of vibration effect that enables them to shred enemies much more brutally than the usual melee attacks. It's a very beastly weapon and a perfect fit for a mobile suit like the Banshee. Number 9. The GN Big Cannons, used by Raphael Gundam. As the name suggests, these are big cannons, which can fire copious beam blasts. But they're not limited to only shooting straight ahead of the Gundam, since they can detach and fly around like funnels, or GN fangs in the 00 universe. And if big, powerful beam cannons that can maneuver on their own and attack from any direction weren't enough, they're also giant claws. These babies can blast you, outnumber you, ram into you, crush you, or just impress you with how cool they are. Number 8. The shields used by the full armor slash awakened unicorn Gundam. They're of course great for defense with built-in eye fields and all, but when the unicorn glows green, it can use the shield's built-in psycho frames to move them like funnels. And of course, they have Gundam heavy arm style double gatling guns. Beam gatling guns even. And they look awesome whether swimming through space or mounted on the unicorn's arms. Cool looking, versatile weapons that were used to great effect. Number 7. The Zan Buster, used by the Crossbone Gundams. I feel like I should give a shout out to some of the other awesome Crossbone Gundam weapons, like the Muramasa Blaster, the Peacock Smasher, the Shot Lancer, the Beam Brands, those Skull Eye Field Boxing Gloves, to name just a few. Lots of cool, distinct weapons, but I promised myself I'd only pick one. And I went with the Zan Buster because I think it's a perfect representation of how pirate-styled and multifaceted the Crossbone Gundams are overall. As the Zan Buster, it's a fancy-looking beam rifle, but split it in two and you get a piratey pistol called a Beam Buster, and a cutlass called a Beam Zanber with a blade I just love. The Zan Buster. Whether we're talking the combined rifle, the pistol, or the sword, no matter what, you've got a stylish, handy dealer of whoop-ass. Number 6. The Wings of Light, used by the Victory 2 Gundam and F-99 Record Breaker. These pretty pink energy wings are not just for show. Apparently they put all other means of propulsion to shame, as we see in Crossbone Gundam Steel 7, they're the only kind of tech that can get our heroes from Earth to freaking Jupiter in time to stop the firing of a Jovian colony laser. They can also be used as beam blades or shields, enormous ones if necessary. They may not be civilization decimating nanomachines, but like the Moonlight Butterfly, the Wings of Light can wreak lots of havoc and look very graceful and radiant while doing it. Number 5. Remote funnel type weapons in general. Usually relatively small, equipped with their own beam guns, and launch off of the wielding mobile suit's body and zoom around, controlled by either a special pilot's psychic multitasking powers or some kind of computer support. The GN Big Cannons and Full Armor Unicorn Shields do fall under this category too, but they're bigger and more distinct and multi-purposed, so I wanted to give them their own spots. In general though, funnels, bits, dragoons, GN fangs, GN shield bits and rifle bits, sea funnels, particle bits, at their best, they all function as small, speedy, hard to dodge while shooting back against overwhelming mini swarms that most grunts have little hope against. And even if you're a new type, or one of the several alternate universes new type equivalents, with the expanded awareness needed to fight funnel type weapons or control your own, they're still likely to cause you some damage. A challenging brand of weapon that's featured in almost every Gundam series in some form. And why not? They're that awesome. Number 4. Anti-ship swords used by several Cosmic Era mobile suits. Long, solid swords with beam edges. It's so simple, yet so sweet-looking and effective. 
retaining the ability to cut enemies that your standard beam saber has, but with more substance, obviously, and therefore more weight to its attacks. More energy efficient and heavy hitting than a beam saber, and more wieldy than a buster sword. And they just look so darn badass, especially when the MS is dual wielding. Threatening right from the get-go, and responsible for several of the Seed Universe's more memorable kills and MS destructions, anti-ship swords are not to be taken lightly. Number 3. The Tactical Arms, used by Gundam Astray Blue Frame 2nd L. A big, big sword that I love the design of. It would already scream, I'm an ass kicker, if it were just the sword, but it also transforms, and I'm a sucker for multi-purpose mech weapons. It has a thruster backpack mode, a gatling gun mode, and the blue frame second revised version can attach the two halves of the blade to the Gundam's forearms and use them as dual half-solid half-beam swords. And red frame Kai has a version with several more transformations, the coolest one being a sweet giant bow and arrow. The tactical arms. Powerful, adaptable, just all around excellent. Number 2. The GN Swords, used by Gundam Exia and Double O Riser. Again, I love gimmicky, multi purpose weapons, especially swords. Exia's GN Sword and Double O's GN Sword 3 are arm mounted beam guns with blades that flip forward or back depending on whether it's time to shoot or slice. I especially love the blades that have the special green edges, which make them look even more distinct and are apparently a refined improvement, able to cut through enemy armor with even more ease. But the less fancy original GN sword is still pretty badass. Hell, it's badass even with a chunk of the blade broken off. The GN sword is highly effective, sharp looking, pun intended, and in my opinion one of the most, once again, badass weapons in Gundam. Number 1 beam sabers in general. Used by too many mobile suits to name. Hell, most mobile suits use some kind of beam blade in their arsenal, be they sabers, larger swords, tomahawks, etc. And I'm counting those two as an extension, I guess. Beam sabers are everywhere in Gundam, and admittedly they're not as elaborate, detailed, and instantly impressive looking as most of the other picks on this list are. But even though we take them so much for granted, the very fact that they've become such a ubiquitous part of Gundam battles kind of makes them the greatest weapon in Gundam. We're so used to them, and nowadays they're rarely actually presented as being among the very top weapons, but let's take a step back. A beam saber is a handle-shaped device that generates a long, concentrated blade of hot, radiating energy that can cut swiftly through even the thickest of armor like butter. That will never cease to be awesome! A kind of awesome we don't always stop to acknowledge anymore because it's so commonplace, but in that way it's actually sort of transcended. Beam sabers don't need to be intricately designed weapons that have snazzy gimmicks. Beam sabers can be the gimmick that makes the weapon or even the whole mobile suit ten times more awesome. How do you make the O and V Gundam's melee capabilities more interesting? Give them extra arms, each with an extra beam saber. Elevate your mobile suit's coolness by giving it shoulder binder mounted beam sabers, foot mounted beam sabers. Got mobile armors that pack tons of long range power but need a close range complement? Jumbo beam sabers for cleaving battleships in half. How can you make a massive beam shot more amazing? Use it as a massive beam saber that can cut through the surface of a moon. The beam saber. One of the oldest, most essential parts of mobile suit action, and for good reason. At the end of the day, it is my number one favorite mobile suit weapon. Thanks for watching.